All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to another GQ Asian Dude Gaming Adventures. A quick look, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the game Fury on the PS4, and it is a uh, an action. Hmm, how do I put this? It's like almost like a boss rush type of game. Uh, if you've played uh, Mega Man or anything like made by Platinum Games or the old school Capcom team, Clover Studios. Uh, they've always added these um, these boss rush stages where you fight a boss consecutively. And Fury is pretty much a, about a, a man, a mysterious stranger, um, that was uh, jailed. And this uh, this like shaman guy, shaman looking character with a giant robot bunny head, uh, frees him and tells him, "Hey, you know." You gotta defeat all these jailers to escape, and that's the key to your salvation. So, now the interesting about this game, interesting, interesting thing about this game, is that the uh, the art direction of this game is actually made by the same guys that did Afro Samurai. So, if you uh, if you look at this game, you'll actually notice that the art is very similar. So, we'll we'll, we'll take a look at here. I already beat the game. It's actually pretty cool, and there's multiple endings. We'll do a new game. Let's see here. So we'll do Fury. Fury is pretty much the normal stage or no more normal difficulty. Um, and you see the little bottom right icon there. If there's a little rabbit head. So we'll, we'll take a quick look at this and give you an idea what the, what this game is all about. Uh, this game is actually free right now on PSN for another uh, seven days. So if you have PSN Plus. Please download it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, definitely not a triple A title, but it is good for what it is. So the way this game works is that uh, you have a you you go a one on one battle against the boss, which in this case is the jailer right now, and. You guys have separate health bars, and you your job is to lower each other's health health bars. Um, and then whenever you lower a health bar, the patterns of the boss changes, uh, and you know it rinse and repeat until you get to the end of uh, the life bars. So you'll you'll see here in a second. Set me free. See what they did to you. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Get out of prison. It's very uh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so bunny guy set me free. Kill the jailer. Now it's it's not really clear why this guy set me free and wh or why he's helping me. I'm really not sure what the deal is. Or what kind of beef he has with uh, these uh, set of characters. And when you start the game, you really have no idea who your character is, what's his deal, what's the point. And that's kind of the point of the game, is the more you play, the more you uncover your character. Uh, really interesting way of uh, uh, doing a narrative. Um, interesting part here is that you can actually freely walk around this cutscene. Or you can just press X. Uh, when you press X, it actually just just makes you walk directly forward to wherever you're going. And usually, when this cutscene is happening, or when this this section of the game is happening, there's a lot of a story happening in the background. Okay, so what I like to call this game is kind of like a poor man's Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, uh, boss fights. So there's the there's the map that I have to go through. Well, we choose the hard way, always. Yeah. Okay. So, a little bit of gameplay here. So, left stick moves your character. 
right stick actually shoots his little uh, auto pistol and then X is to dash and the dash is pretty much your dodge there you go shoot circles block or parry square is melee attack and triangle is like it changes okay so now I lowered kind of his health bar a little bit now we go to this melee section here now the cool thing about this game is when you parry an attack you actually get your health back all right one health bar down and it's all about timing it's all about rhythm uh, very video game video game ish so r2 holds a charge shot boom knocks him down much stronger attack than your typical uh, regular shot boom there we go ooh okay charge slash and when you, when you do the charge slash it looks like you do a, a little bit of cutscene does extra damage like that guard break it's pretty cool and definitely feel like a samurai slash ninja uh, if you've watched afro samurai it's very close very stylish okay so now since I lowered two life bars his pattern is gonna change and it looks like I'm going to be doing some dodging here. Okay. This actually is a, this is actually pretty easy in comparison to the other bosses. Oop, dodge. Like the patterns get really really crazy after the next few bosses there. There you go. Another health bar down. He's all charged up. training here <laughs> so now you just combine all the things you've learned we battle Alright, so when you do a perfect parry like that, it actually triggers that that cutscene. It's kind of neat. Like that, right there. Boom. So it looks like I'm chopping off his horns. So little things like that to make add a little bit of the, the cool factor to the game. Like, oh man, it's awesome. All right, gotcha. And this game is actually like it's a very very pattern based game. So there's like speed runs of this game, and you know like who, who beats the bosses the fastest. 
there's a lot of this going on online. There's a leaderboard to this game too. It's, it's pretty interesting. The art might be not for everyone, but the gameplay definitely is pretty fun. It's pretty challenging. And what it does, it takes like a old school style of gaming and kind of like does it really well. Ow. Eat this. Got it. That looks really cool. Oh, what is that? Uh, what's doing there, bud? nice too like they give you a, a, an audio cue and a visual cue before these guys attack so very very polite for them ow <laughs> so if you like games like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta uh, this is pretty much kind of like an indie version of those games you know not a, not a triple A title but a double A title um, if you're not willing to shell out like thirty dollars or forty dollars on the game, uh, game there's a lot of games to choose from. And if I were to put a, cate a category on Devil May Cry, this game would definitely fall under that category. Look at this crazy thing. So it turns into now it turns into like a bullet hell shooter, a shmup. So it's, it's a very interesting uh, design concept. But oh, uh, let's move over here since you can't kill those. So it's a little, that's why I like this game a lot, because it's a little bit different than most games. So I'm okay with that. Different is good in my in my book. I'm gonna kill you. you. Alright. Yeah, 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 he's dead. So, shields, shields, McShieldies. Oh, he's done. Done. Got it. So there. So you notice that that took down all his health bars, and finally, he is defeated. So what happens now is that since he's defeated, a little bit of narration, story, and it goes to the next level, and it's just another boss fight. There, there are no like mobs that you fight to to the next guy. You just continuously go to the next next boss fight them learn their patterns fight them again and then move on to the next one till you get to the end and that's pretty much fury in a nutshell and it's a little bit of stylish uh stylish uh kind of action here a little bit of story so um and then, like i said there's like four endings to the game so there's a little bit of replay value um it definitely uh promotes you to play the game again so uh check it out it's on psn i think it's on pc as well maybe xbox live i'm not too sure about that but check out Fury on PSN, and thanks for watching my video. Take it easy, guys. Have a good, have a good night.